ಮಂಗಲ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಮಂಗಲ ಗರುಡ ಮಂಗಲ ಪುಂಡರೀಕಾಕ್ಷು ಮಂಗಲಾಯತನು ಹರಿ essence of the vedas the word veda is derived from the sanskrit root word ved meaning to know they were revelations that occurred to the vedic rishis in deep meditation so ancient are they that they are also referred to as apurushiya not authored by man and anadi without a beginning in terms of time they came to us in the form of suktam which mean beautiful statements they are regarded as the supreme authority the scripture that forms the core and foundation of hinduism Rigveda is the oldest available literature of mankind. The word Rig in Sanskrit means praise and the hymns of the Rigveda are an expression of adoration and worship addressed to the various Vedic deities such as Indra, Agni, Soma and Surya. They reflect a devotee's relationship to the deities as a friend. as a child to his parents or as a servant to his master the introduction of this concept represents the beginning of vedic philosophy We meditate on the brilliant light of the creator who has created the universe who is worthy of worship who is the embodiment of knowledge and light who is the remover of all sin and ignorance may he enlighten our intellect May we be the sharers of your speech and actions and of the benevolence of you, O preachers and learned men, who give 
knowledge, strength and food so bounteously. Let us therefore utilize them properly. Vamagra Urusham Saya Bhagade Sparhanyate Knapparamam Vanoshitade Ardhasya Chipramati Ruchyase Vita Prabhakamsha Sipradisho Vidushtaraha O Agni, our speech sings your praise. You are for us the giver of the desirable wealth of wisdom. Be like a father to us, giving us, who are immature and poor of learning, the wealth of knowledge. Your knowledge pervades the whole world. Rutasya Preha Rutasya Dhetir Vishwa Yur Vishwe Apaam Sijakruhu Yastubhyanta Shadyoma Keshikshat Tasmai Chikitvan Raginda Yasla O Agni the upholders of truth, those whose works are inspired by truth, have created the living world of vitality. You know those who surrender to you and desire to learn from you. Let light and knowledge flow into them. Bhadrangarne Vishnu Yama Deva Bhadram Vashe Vakshabhir Yajatra Thirai Rangai Stushtu Vamsa Stano Dherya Shema Deva Hitaya Dayu O Gods! May our ears listen to the good. May we, surrendering to you, see the good with our eyes. With firm and able bodies and limbs, may we live our lives devoting ourselves to the divine. Sampracchata sajaga masave dasaji kitvam iyate sanvi iyate asmin sante prashishas tasmin nishtaya sabajasya shavasa shushminas patihi Ask Agni. He moves everywhere. He knows. He is the conscious one. He alone can lead you. In him lies true instruction and a life full of meaningful enjoyment. He is the god of valor, vitality and austerity. O Indra, give us the highest of riches, the skill and knowledge for action. Give us well-being and the vigor of vitality to our limbs. Protect us against injury. May we become sweet of speech and may our days be days full of light. Atakshandhaya bodhavyasesam Ja 
सर्वस्यवाजं जगाना सत्यनरचो अहर्तिमश्या ओ गॉड्स वर्दी ऑफ माय सैक्रिफाइस आई डिजायर टू हियर यू स्पीक यू आर एवर न्यू and men create ever new songs for you come listen to our songs may our minds that desire vigor fly to you with the speed and power of horses that drive chariots janman janman nihi to jata veda विश्वामिभ्यते अजस्र तयम सोमत यी भद्रे सौ मन से अग्नि दि ओल नोइंग लिव्स इन एव्री लिविंग बीइंग we sages of the vishwamitra family keep his flame alive he is ever worthy of surrender may we with lively minds ever dwell in his beauty and truth rasya ki shuru dhasanti purvi Pervasive is the nourishment of truth. The light of truth destroys evil. The song of truth glowing with knowledge penetrates the ears of the deaf. Yo devo devata mo jaya mana ha mo vaje bhir mahat bhishta sushmai tadha no vajram He, the God Indra, is the great, ever-born God of gods. He is full of all-pervasive energy and austere power. With his great weapon, the Vajra, he lifts his arms. shaking the skies and the earth jayam samasya yatunasya ketunarishesvaran charadhiya sunamate yadrishendha yitama pasya ya vidadya usvayam vahate so aram karad the sages sing songs pronouncing your name o great and moving sun god in the heavens the god who can be seen whatever you put your mind to you achieve through your action he who contains both the action and its fruit within himself really ओ अग्नि द गॉड ऑफ ट्रू डीड्स गिव अस राइटियस वेलर एंड स्प्लेंडर ऑफ माइंड गिव टू मी योर रिचेज and your sustenance
Yajurved Yajurved is the Veda of Yajana or worship. Humans are inspired to translate good thoughts into action. The essence of the Yajurved lies in those mantras and incantations that inspire people to initiate action. Thus we find a systematic code of worship evolving in the Yajurved. O Lord, we pray to you for strength in our daily bread. O fountain of knowledge and happiness, inspire our limbs and organs to do noble deeds. For our prosperity and wealth, may our cows never be killed. May they be fertile with calves. May they be free from diseases. May there never be a thief or a sinner born amongst us. May you, Lord of our cattle and lands, ever be in absolute control of your domain. May you protect our cattle, wealth and the progeny of all virtuous souls. May we be born again and again with a mind capable of doing virtuous deeds, of acquiring strength and longevity, and of being engaged in the constant contemplation of God. We worship the beauteous God who sustains and nourishes us. Through His grace, may we be released effortlessly from this mortal coil of life as naturally as a ripe cucumber is from its stem. But let us not be bereft of immortality. The sages who consecrate their souls to Him concentrate their mind and intellect upon God who is omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient. They sing His praises in various ways. He is self-existing, the knower of all good acts. Great is the praise of Him, the creator and the seer of all. He is the preacher of truth. O Agni, come again to us with all your divine power, life 
and bounty. Come to us again and again to save us from evil. Preserve my life, preserve my pranas, preserve my eyes, preserve my ears, sweeten my speech, give contentment to my mind, preserve my soul, lead me to life. Homage to him who is the consort of Uma and to him who is the remover of all sorrow. Homage to him who is of the copper color of the sun at dawn and to him who is the color of the sun ascending in the sky. Homage to him who gives joy and to him who is the lord of all creatures. Homage to the fierce one and to the one who instills fear in his enemies. Homage to him who slays his enemies within reach and to him who slays his enemies from afar. Homage to him who destroys his enemies and to him who is the ultimate destroyer. Homage to him who resides in the tree with its thick green foliage resembling his hair. Homage to him who personifies the Om, the supreme symbol of divinity. Homage to him who is happiness in this world and in the one beyond. Homage to him who bestows the pleasures of this world and of the world thereafter. Homage to him who is auspicious and to him who makes those who attain him auspicious. May our life span be shaped through this yagna. May our breath be shaped through yoga. May all our pranas be shaped through this yagna. May our eyes, ears and speech be shaped through this yagna. May our mind and our soul be shaped through this yagna. May the Brahman himself be shaped through this yagna. May light be shaped through this yagna. May heaven, the world of light be shaped through this yagna. May what is left behind be shaped through this yagna. May this sacrifice itself be shaped through this yagna. Swaha. 
तच्छ्योरावृणीमहे Samaved The word sama was derived from the word saman or prayers for singing The Samaveda takes the hymns of the Rigveda and places them in patterns of notes and music These musical patterns are supposed to emanate from the vibrations and the resonance of the cosmos itself and were designed to bring peace to the vagrant mind accept our offerings you are the one to whom we sing our songs convey our offerings to the gods you are the priest for whom we have prepared the seat in our hearts Yeah, 
O Soma, you have been justly extracted. Flow out towards Indra. May all that is evil and ill be away from you. May your nectar not become an intoxicant for the perplexed, confused between truth and falsity. May your radiant drops shower bounty on this our yagna. Soma, may the milk of inner strength blend with you. May you rise up in strength, reaching towards immortality and the world of light, attaining the best of bounty. May heaven and earth make me glorious. May Lord Indra and the wise sage god Brihaspati make me glorious. May I attain the glory of divine light. May this great glory never abandon me. May it never abandon my people among whom let me be a speaker of truth. Padar Dio Asya Adapya 
तथागे पुत्र The sweet beloved nectar that flows from Soma is the very tongue of truth. The invincible Lord resonates in our minds. The son knows not the inner name of his parents being carried away by a third name, immersed in the immense light of heaven. O Indra, may the ignorant and he who is desirous of ruling over men not harm you. May they not ridicule you. Do not go to those who oppose the true sacrifice. Soma, pure flowing, radiant with light, O God, made ready for the gods, come into us with all the wealth of light. The revealing lights of Soma, the constant one, have begun to flow purely from both the sides, above and below. They spread out in all directions when, O oh, golden-hued Soma, you have been sieved and poured into vessels. Meditate on the brilliant light of the Creator who has created the universe, who is worthy of worship, who is the embodiment of knowledge and light, who is the remover of all sin and ignorance. May He enlighten our intellect. O 
Oh Agni, protect us from evil doers and from those who are incapable of giving. Defend us in our battles. You are the closest to us, our friend. We reach out to you to lead us to the gods and for our own elevation. Atharva Ved. On a more earthly level, Atharva Ved touches upon subjects like our society and social structure, the science of yoga, the human physiology, its different ailments and their cure, and so on. But the word Atharva means that which is unwavering, unchanging. Thus, on a more spiritual level, the Atharva Veda expounds universal truths of the oneness of the universe, the way to live in communion with it, and finally to merge with the Supreme. Vachaspati, the Lord of Speech, like the two ends of a stretched bow held together with a single bow string, may our minds be intent on both this world and the world of the gods. May the Lord of Speech direct us to this end. Let the knowledge in me remain in me. With my sacrifice, I invoke Soma, the drink of immortality, Savitar, the sun god, and all the Adityas for power and well-being. Let this holy fire, kindled by me and my kinsmen, blaze long. May it not be dimmed by those who speak against me. It is morning and we invoke Agni, we invoke Indra and we invoke Mitra and Varuna. We also invoke Bhaga, we invoke Pushana and Brahmanaspati, we invoke Soma and we invoke Rudra. Anam Radhaf Kedav Putra Matra Bhavatu <laughs> 
Let the son obey his father. Let him be of the same mind as his mother. Let the wife speak to the husband in sweet tones and tender words. You are a healer, a healer of severed bones and wounds. O oh Arundhati, I call out to you as you fill this wound and heal it. O oh people, may you live in unity and concordance, just as the ancient gods sit together and share the offerings of the sacrifice mutually, may your minds be united. Behold this grass called Darbha, the dispeller of all anger, both of one's own and of the stranger. We call it the appeaser of wrath, since it takes away ill feeling. May this plant strengthen the roots of the hair, stretch the ends and lengthen the middle. O oh herb, let thick black locks grow all over this man's head, like reeds on a river bank. We offer our homage to Prana, the vital breath which controls the world. Prana is the Lord of all, the one in whom all exist unharmed. Whether getting up or sitting, whether standing or walking, with the right foot or with the left, let us not injure Mother Earth. O oh Lord Indra, may you bring together this newly married couple in the same manner as a pair of Chakravaka birds. Let them enjoy marital bliss and along with their progeny live a 
full life. We offer our obeisance to the rising sun. We offer our obeisance to the sun about to rise and to the sun that has arisen. We offer our obeisance to the sun who rules far and wide. We offer our obeisance to the sun who rules himself and who rules the world. May we see a hundred autumns. May we live a hundred autumns. May we be wakeful for a hundred autumns. May we attain wisdom for a hundred autumns. May we be well for a hundred autumns. May we adorn a hundred autumns. May the autumns be more than a hundred. May we accomplish all this. <laughs> 